I'm Tom Huffmeister with Elder Fire Lodges. Problem solving. How do you reinvent business or how do you come to new ideas to solve problems that maybe we've never seen before? At the lodges, one of the experiences I was having very early speaking with elders was that we want children around. We wish our grandchildren would come and be excited about coming and being at this place. What we would often do was we'd take a close look at, well, how is the industry solving this problem? And if they're not, Maybe we just need to whiteboard the opposite. This meant creating a children's environment somewhere in the lodge that they could go in and discover and be excited about spending some time at. Here's an idea that came from a site of one of our lodges that's next to a river where there used to be river boats. So we started bringing in the idea, what if the play area represented a river boat which was fun for children and spurred some real fun historical conversation with our elders. Uh, this idea of a great place for grandchildren, we actually got to see in our very first lodge within about week two, I actually experienced a mom pulling children out of the play area crying. In fact, the mom who was dragging the children out said, you know, my mom now lives here at the lodge. You know, the last place we moved her out of, our kids didn't even want to go visit her. So we knew we were right on key with doing the opposite as another industry. Another example that I'd like to share that I actually have no answers to yet. The local police department called me one afternoon and said, Tom, you know, we're aware that you care for a particular piece of property. It's a real mess. You need to come on out and clean it up before we have to fine you. We mow the grass, we take care of it. I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. Here's what I saw when I drove up to the property. Well, evidently some homeless gentlemen had moved on to the site. Ultimately, my challenge was, you know, we're asking them to go on to someplace else and they're just kind of going three blocks away to another area. I didn't feel like we had solved any problems at all. And, and I asked some community leaders, what are we doing about this? And they said, well, we haven't figured it out and we're not doing anything yet. I asked a couple of them, what if we did the opposite? What if instead of having these conversations of how do we get rid of these homeless people to the opposite? <gasps> Don't you wish we had some more? Oh my, what a difference they make in our community. What is that difference? I'm not sure yet. Can they keep the town picked up? Can they clean our sidewalks? Can they clean windows in downtown and keep the place sparkling? Can they, uh, how, how many of them have a, have a green thumb? Does our whole town now improve because of what used to be a problem we now have turned into an asset? Is that the answer? Well, I'm not sure, but I can tell you that the greatest things are invented and the greatest problems are solved because we chose to change our perspective.